Kāds ir nospējams kreiskanā līdz grēģim, klapam KVD priek KPK, plažiņa zakrīt. Sviesa pēc konfigurēt pa punktu 4.2. Primotā, spēcība vēģi kreitansai. Udalos li pravesti fotosjumu, ko es tajā te kā izaminētē? Fotosjumu pravedina, sačās jau gatavu fotografiju, kad jau prosim ar sviju. Принято, спасибо за доклад. This is Mission Control Houston, the visiting vehicle officer here inside Mission Control, which uh, sort of serves as the liaison between the team here and uh, the Russian counterparts that are both monitoring. Uh, the Soyuz's progress just reported to Flight Director Royce Renfrew that um, the undocking was nominal, everything was as expected, and the systems on board the Soyuz are uh, also performing uh, very well. So Oleg Kotov and Soichi Noguchi and TJ Kramer are continuing to head home back to Earth. At this point in time, they are continuing to pass down below the International Space Station and beginning to uh, edge out in front of the orbiting complex. This will continue all the way down to the deorbit burn. So once again, taking a look at the timeline, the deorbit burn tonight will occur at 9.34 p.m. Central Time. The three different modules of the Soyuz will separate at 9.58 p.m. Central, the Soyuz at that point in time will be 87 miles above the ground. Three minutes after that, at an altitude of 62 miles, that is when the Soyuz will begin to enter the Earth's atmosphere. The crew will experience the maximum G-force, which is about 8 or 9 Gs, at 10.07 p.m. Central Time, that's about 22 miles. Complete. The commands to open the parachutes will be issued at 10.09 p.m. Central Time. The Soyuz at that point in time will be seven miles above the face of the Earth. And then at 10.24 we will see the landing of the Soyuz TMA-17 just to the east of the city of Zhezkazgan there in Kazakhstan. M2 is being selected. Three twenty-seven. Fifteen. DPO selection M2 is complete. Copy. And first we have DPO B, right? Correct. Uh, copy. We already have the setting for descent, and uh, we are expecting that now. You have about an hour. Uh, to get some rest. Okay, we'll set up the alarm clock for one hour. At 4.28 we have UKAVE compass, which is exactly in one hour. Right. Good. This is Mission Control Houston, the Soyuz TMA-17 continuing to widen the gap between itself and the International Space Station.
Once again, undocking took place this evening at 7.04 p.m. Central Time. That marked the conclusion of Expedition 23 on board the International Space Station. Expedition 24 has now officially begun. T.J. Creamer, Soichi Noguchi, and Oleg Kotov now on their way home, as you just heard from the uh, ground team there in Russia. Calling up to the crew, they have about an hour to uh, rest and get ready for the next major milestone, which will be their deorbit burn. That's coming up in two hours and five minutes at 9.34 p.m. Central Time. Once uh, that takes place, there will be a rapid succession of events that will lead to the landing. That will take place at 10.24 p.m. Central Time. Our coverage will continue here on NASA television beginning at 9.15 p.m. Central Time. So that will wrap up uh, this phase of our coverage this evening, the undocking uh, successfully taking place, all the systems on board the Soyuz operating as expected. The teams here in Houston, as well as just outside of Moscow, continue to monitor the progress of the Soyuz. And here within the next couple of hours, the recovery forces there in Kazakhstan will uh, take off and begin the process of heading toward the landing site and getting ready to welcome Oleg Kotov, T.J. Creamer, and Soichi Noguchi after spending six months in space. We will see you back here at 9.15 p.m. Central Time here on NASA Television. This is Mission Control Houston.